characteristics of odd degree polynomials describe the characteristics of a degree 5 polynomial with positive leading coefficient now most of the characteristics which i'll define here will be applicable for any odd degree polynomial well and some of them will be specific which i'll mention now when you look at a graph here here we have two graphs and both are of degree 5 so what do you notice you notice that it goes from coordinate 3 to 1 ends are facing on the opposite side right so that tells us that it is an odd degree function with positive leading coefficient so the typical positive leading coefficient will be shown like it has been shown here so when you see at the graph what you notice is that it moves from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1 as shown here right so when it moves from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1 it has to cross the x-axis correct so it will definitely have x-intercept for sure right so it will surely have an x-intercept so it is not possible to have a degree 5 polynomial with all imaginary roots right a degree 6 polynomial could go from 2 to 1 without crossing x axis right so it could have all imaginary roots no real roots now as it moves from negative infinity to positive infinity so it has a domain which is all real numbers and range also is all real numbers right so domain is x belongs to real numbers and domain is real numbers for all polynomials now, as far as the range is concerned range is all real numbers for all odd degree polynomials in even degree polynomials we may have absolute maximum or minimum value right here we can only have local maximum and minimum right we cannot have we cannot have absolute maximum or minimum value here right since the end behavior is so let me describe end behavior now is that x as x approaches negative infinity y approaches negative infinity and as x approaches positive infinity y approaches positive infinity right so you will see that as x approaches negative infinity y approaches negative infinity as x approaches positive infinity y approaches positive infinity right and that's the reason why domain and range is all real numbers and it cannot have any absolute maximum or minimum right now let's talk about turning points so the turning points are like it if it has to go from quadrant 3 to 1 so it can go without turning that's true so the number of turning points could be zero that means it goes without turning now can it be one if it turns once then it is going to come towards quadrant four but it has to go there so it has to turn once again therefore it cannot have one turning point but it will have two turning points can it turns three times no for the same reason it has to ultimately go there so every other turning point will be set of twos correct so it for a degree 5 polynomial, we could have 0, 2, or 3 number of turning points, correct? Oh, sorry, 4. 0, 2, or 4 sets of 2. For n degree polynomial, the turning points could be n from 0 odd, right? So, for n degree polynomial, the turning points will be 0, 2, 4, like this, till n minus 1 so n minus 1 is the maximum number of turning points and 0 is the minimum number of turning points for a polynomial of degree n where n is odd right now let's talk about zeros now zeros are the x intercepts in this case so it will have definitely one zero and it can have two three up to n in this case n is five so in this case it will be 2, 3, 4 and 5. So in general the number of zeros for odd degree polynomial will be n. For n 
n degree polynomial it will be n. So these are the number of zeros for this. Now odd degree polynomial can sometimes have odd symmetry, right? Sometimes, not always, right? Some can have odd symmetry. Now odd symmetry means that f of let's say f of minus x equals to minus of fx. That means odd symmetry. Odd symmetry means it is symmetric about the origin, correct? Like the one I've shown here in dotted line, it has odd symmetry. So this one is the one with odd symmetry. It is symmetric about the origin, right? So these are the major characteristics of odd degree polynomial. Now, if I change this positive to negative, then how will it affect it? Now, let us say we have negative leading coefficient, right? Then what will happen? Then the thing is, for negative leading coefficient, these will get reflected. So the graph will actually be from quadrant 2 to 1. So that is going to be the major chain. So if the graph is going from 2 to 1, that means the coefficient is negative. Correct? So that is a way to figure out whether the coefficient is negative or positive. All of the characteristics will remain same. So if it is negative leading coefficient, then it is moving from quadrant 2 to quadrant 4, right? That way it will be. And the end behavior will be that as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity. And as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches negative infinity. So that is how it is going to change if I change from positive to negative leading coefficient, correct? Otherwise, all other characteristics will be exactly same, correct? Thank you.